Hey everyone, Eggman here, and I'm I'm with uh, my good friend. Yo yo, Uchiha Joel. Yes, uh, and uh, I'm back with another. I guess I don't really have a segment name for this, but just like top player talk to discussion review. So uh, he brought uh, this deck that you see on the, your screen to uh, ARG States uh, at PPG. I think that's the tournament name. Um, yeah. It was it was the weekend right before the ultimate box. Uh, but yeah, uh, Joel, talk, uh, tell me how you did with this deck. Um, I did a lot better than I thought I was going to do, to be honest. Yes. Um, <laughs> I kind of just, uh, when I was talking with my friends and you guys, you know, I was like shooting for top 16. Mm -hmm. I didn't think I was going to, you know, go six after Swiss. Yes. Um, it's a top eight. <laughs> yeah. Um, if I recall correctly, I was the only non-blue leader in mm -hmm. like top 16. Yeah. So that was pretty sweet. But yeah, the deck, uh, the deck did really well. Yeah, and that's that's just super crazy that, um, like a lot of people are using blue as kind of like a, a crutch right now. But you you decided to go with this Frieza deck, and you did really well. And you went what six and one? I went four uh, one one. After four one Swiss. one. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay, all right. And you placed six, and it was just a top cut, right? Didn't go to. Uh, um, yeah, I um, went to top eight, and then I played against another Herudagarn, uh, Alejandro Menos, mm -hmm. and I lost uh, two one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, at least you know he's a well-known player, and <laughs> no, no one to uh, not some random. Yeah, and I to... beat uh, and I beat a couple of uh, PPG players mm -hmm. since West too, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, they were using uh, the mono blue control at the time. That was like the really big one. Yes, and that was this. This was the same weekend um, that uh, was this. This was the weekend right before Otacon, or right? Yes, yes, it was. So yeah, it was yeah, before of... Giant Con. That's right, Gen Con. That's the big one. Otacon just yep. happened. Gen Con. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Cool. So, anyways, enough enough about blue decks. Let's talk about this yellow deck here. So, you chose uh, one of my favorite leaders personally is the Tournament Power Frieza. Uh, he's Universe Seven. He's a warrior of Universe Seven, and he has my like favorite front side of you just discard a Universe Seven card from your hand, don't have to attack, and then you draw two. That's just it's crazy the best. To me. Yeah, that's, that's the best. Uh, and one of one of my early videos uh, was talking about how much I like this leader because it kind of promotes a controlling uh, scenario because you get to draw cards without having to attack. And attacking in this game is really weird because if you attack your opponent's leader, uh, you are essentially giving them cards in the early game too, right? It's a it's a good mm -hmm. trade, right? It's not advantage on either side. So uh, that's really powerful. I really like this leader, and. Um, I think he was like the only good leader from turn of like the good leader from turn of power to actually emerge from from that theme of boost. Yeah, I mean he's uh, he's not as good as he was um, now that everyone can self awaken so fast. Yes. Um, yeah. But he's still pretty good because I'm not attacking you, so I'm forcing you to self awaken. Mm -hmm. But you know it was a lot better before when you could keep people on their front side. Now everyone's awakening almost immediately, so yeah, he's still pretty good though. Yeah, because I like the the. The, what is it the emperor of universe seven he was my favorite because i just i wouldn't let them awaken and then they'd have a bunch of dead you know super combos in their hand i drop emperor of universe seven down and then mm -hmm. they have to pay to use their super combos then so it's just it's a really yep. deadly combination so uh but let's how about uh how about you talk about what you want for the deck and kind of let's let's go through it do you have your the deck list open on your side um yeah okay. <laughs> um the 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 mvps on my deck honestly that weekend were creator absorbed mm -hmm. uh mira yes that guy was the best mm -hmm. um every every round except round four i think it was mm -hmm. um i pretty much won one at least one game because of him yes yeah uh because the the problem with the deck was while i was testing it is that I would a uh, victory strike people, you know, talk shit about it, but it's not that good anymore. Sure. Because your people are awakened, so by the time I bring out victory strike, I'm almost dead mm -hmm. because of how crazy uh storm decks are. Yes. Yeah. So I could probably maybe pump him one time mm -hmm. and then I'm swinging at you for like 70k. Yeah. So it's not really a big deal people combo over it easy. Mm -hmm. So what was happening is I got to start poking them with hope of universe 7. Yeah. And I would leave them at one and then not be able to kill them mm, so yeah. with this guy i would put them at one people would usually kind of go to one willingly because it's my last attack i have one energy open mm -hmm. and i have like three cards in my hand so yeah. they're expecting oh he's got a foo that's nothing so they take it 
And then I bring out Mirror and I'm swinging for like 150k. Yeah, exactly. And just uh, Sun Goku, Hoping you were seven, one of my favorite cards. Um, yeah. And I, I've, I've experimented with him in swap decks because there's some, you know, kind of cheese you can do to get him out. But just the power of being able to triple attack with critical and blowing up, you know, th potentially three cards of your mm -hmm. opponents is really powerful. And I really, I really do like this mirror because it's, it's almost uh, in, in today's meta kind of is like a second victory strike that you yes. have on your deck. Like it, cause, uh, and it's, it's not every game, but you know, it, you can only run one victory strike in your deck. If it's in your, if it's the last card in your life, which I've seen happen before, like mm -hmm. you can't, you can't have, this as your only game plan. So I think you're very smart to run, uh, backup win conditions, uh, within mm -hmm. mirror and then also, uh, emperor of universe seven as well. Yeah, um, I, I only ran one of them in the main board mm -hmm. um, because my worst matchup is apes. Mm -hmm. I'm yes. terrified of apes, so I wanted to at least have two foos to be able to just banish those uh, those early apes. Mm -hmm. But once I saw I wasn't apes, you know, I would side out one, maybe even two, because now we have that new uh, at all cost Vegeta that helps me pop. Yes, yes. Which he's he's freaking amazing. Mm -hmm. So I would just take out both foos or just one and. You know, bring out another mirror and something else. You know, but mm -hmm. but that mirror is the best. And explosive Goku, that guy saved me so many times against um, the aggro decks. Yeah, because with he's... with hard cast, mm -hmm. <laughs> not not even with guess, just straight up hard cast. <laughs> yeah, and that's why people are running like the there's the three drop Gohan, that the swap one that uh, kind of does the same thing as explosive, just blows up something in rest mode when it comes mm -hmm. out. And I think I think that's. Um, it's just it's still very powerful just being able to blow up something for relatively cheap no it's it's huge it's huge and the fact that you know i would drop him pop one of their one drops mm -hmm. swing out another of their one drops most of the time i would take both of them out just with him yeah. and then at the end of the turn restand barrier blocker he, mm -hmm. he was just he just saved me so many times yeah barrier blockers so powerful i just remember uh i, I haven't played with shugesh much since uh the next the new sets dropped but uh, just if you have explosive Son Goku, you just feel really safe, right? And just being mm -hmm. able to have him out. Uh, and then, so obviously, you split your super combos between uh, the Universe Seven One and Two Shugesh. Yep. Uh, and, and I know, like, um, it's kind of it's kind of a paradox to me that like everyone's afraid of Kronoa. No one's playing Kronoa, and no one's playing Shugesh at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, you don't see either card. Um, yep. But and everyone's trying to fit space for Kronoa in their their sideboard, but. Uh, what, do you, what are your thoughts about uh, her and running Shugesh and stuff like that? No, I mean, I, I was expecting to get hit with Chrono at some point, so mm -hmm. that's why I only ran two of him. Yeah. But the funny thing is, the entire first six rounds of Swiss, I did not get hit with a single Chrono. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah. E even after people would see my Shugesh, so I, I, I don't know if they you know just didn't draw into it or mm -hmm. they didn't even bother signing. I don't know what. Yeah. Um, but I didn't see one until I played Mana um, mm -hmm. in game two. Uh, so that, that was really great. Yeah. Um, I didn't use the explosive Goku off of Shigesh much. How mm -hmm. I used them mostly was to get my uh, ready to fight uh, Goku mm -hmm. and kind of get like that last, like, you know, search into my deck for free. Yeah. Because sometimes I'll be missing like the hope or missing, you know, the five drops. So I'll just attack. Yeah. Um, play Shigesh, drop the Goku, and just get that free search. Mm -hmm. So that helped a lot. Yeah, definitely. And uh, yeah, I just, it, for, for me personally, I do like the two and two split. Uh, I've, I've tried it with other kind of, you know, yellow leader decks where it's viable. And uh, e even like, even if they do play Kronoa, one energy is so valuable right now that mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's almost better that they sacrifice their one energy and usually put off going mm -hmm. off a turn earlier than uh, letting you use Shugesh, so yeah, and a lot and a lot of times they they may even have it in their hand, but they just rather use their energy a different way because yeah. they'll see me. You know what I like to do is I like to pitch my backbone super combo, mm -hmm. yeah, to kind of like put in their head like I, this is the super combo I use. I don't use Shugesh, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. And if I can, I I don't show the Shugesh game one. You know, mm -hmm. even if yeah. I'm going for game, I try to just go for game without the Shugesh just to like keep it hidden until like i absolutely need it yeah and i think that's that's super smart and i can just imagine the mind games of like you just shuffling your hand and like just looking really distraught and then being like 
<sighs> okay, discard backbone of River Seven for freeze oh, effects. Like, <laughs> dude, no, and, and the mind games you got to play with that are the best. Yeah, <laughs> people, I bet, just, yeah. people rage at me so much because they'll be like, they'll bring out like a like a, food, a scientist food, for example, mm-hmm. and they'll be like going for a game and they'll be like pumping it up, and I'll just be like, shit, man, that's a big ass attack. Fuck. And you make should have con- done this. it out several yeah. times, right? And, and I'm like, like, man, I should have done this. You know, like I fucked up here and I start like talking back to like other things and I uh-huh. like, kind of like giving them that confidence. Oh yeah, I got this shit. So then they just combo their entire hand. I'm like, shit, gosh, Goku, boom. <laughs> yeah. And I can just see them going like, Ugh. I, can, yep. I can feel that every time. So, yeah. Um, it's pretty hilarious. Yes. I, no doubt. So cool. Almost, uh, almost as good as, uh, when they Mafuba my victory strike and I hit him with battering. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And and so you have Mafuba in the side, is that right? Or uh, no, no, no Mafuba in the side. My sideboard was pretty irrelevant. Okay. Um, the the only things I would really side in were uh, three full power energy mm-hmm. and okay. um, three of the eighteen uh, combo that comes out free, okay. just so I could have more green. But that was pretty much it. Mm-hmm. Um, I brought some Mass Saiyans too because I was, you know, I was half expecting some Savage to show up with Ginyu Veggies and just like run people over. <laughs> so yeah. I didn't want to be that guy. So I brought some Mass Saiyans, yeah. you know. I mean, if, I you're, if you're running Shugash hoping no one's running Kanoa, then like someone else is going to be running Ginyu Veggie hoping no one's running Kanoa. So. Yeah, exactly. And one of my friends has Ginyu Veggies and he's been talking about how he wants to just show up randomly and just, you know, mm-hmm. catch people off guard. So yeah. I didn't want that to be me, but. For the most part, I would just bring in full power energy and bring it out depending on how I was playing. Mm-hmm. Um, I was expecting a lot of SS3 control, yeah. which how I saw it was if I only played SS3 control, I was good because I dominate that deck. Mm-hmm. And then I could pretty much like hang in there against the Haruda Garn aggro. Mm-hmm. And apes give me trouble, but I didn't expect to see any apes, which I didn't. Yeah. But yeah, the SS3 control is just it's it's almost a free win at times, honestly. Yeah. And that's that's really good. And I think I think coming up like uh tournaments later this month, people are gonna really be cranking that out. It's SS3 control has been putting up some big wins at tournaments and with the new mm-hmm. uh Vegito that came out in the ultimate box, people are really excited for that card. So um I think I think a deck that has a good match against SS3 is good. Uh, and then I, I also share your set, uh, sentiment about uh, how scary apes can be still. Like, not a lot of people play it, but um, it's it's always in the back of my mind. Like, okay, what, mm-hmm. if, what if this deck plays against apes? Is it going to be, <laughs> what's going to happen to me? So, uh, yeah, well, when I'm playing against apes, I just completely just forget about my victory strike and mm-hmm. Goku and stuff. And I just got to, like, focus on Frieza. Yeah. But going into the Frieza is so, like, energy intense mm-hmm. that even when you bring it out, you're kind of, like behind a little bit you know yeah yeah but so. uh I, I do agree like a uh, cold uh cold hard strike freeze is probably pretty good in the uh eight matchup just being able to not do only two attacks but put them into rest mode which apes really hate to be in rest mode so. exactly um yeah you put them into rest mode and then if you survive that turn mm-hmm. you can bring out the hope of universe seven and then you can start poking with them and yeah. anything they do to defend they gotta pay a life you know yes exactly exactly so uh, cool. I think that goes through everything. Uh, you ran Focus Mind Piccolo. That's pretty obvious for me. Mm-hmm. For what we did that. You ran Eight Negates, which I think is good. Uh, two Bad Ring Laser in, in the uh, main board. Do you think that that was a good choice? The two of those in there. Or... Oh no, that was that was absolutely a good choice. I okay, was gonna okay. initially run one, uh-huh. but I just decided to run two because the. Uh, the Thursday of, mm-hmm. I went to PPG to, um, to their local and just to like kind of feel out uh, how the deck played against you know the other decks. Mm-hmm. And almost every control that I played had Mofuba in the main board. Yeah. So I needed to make sure I could at least see one by turn five. Mm-hmm. So two two was great. And um, having one, you know, I mean, if I had two in my hand, it wasn't a big deal because I need to pitch a yellow anyway. So it was yeah, a good exactly. yellow to pitch. So it was it was actually perfect. Um, I I really wouldn't change anything okay. in this deck. Um, it it, re- it really worked perfect. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been even playing it now against uh, on Untapped today ever since Scorch wrecked everybody with that red blue. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it actually hangs in there with red blue too. The only the only deck that kind of wrecks me is that new uh, Ultimate Box Vegeta mm. that yeah keeps you at like three energy yes i can see why that would be kind of painful yeah. for this deck so uh, cool. yeah. and so uh and you you wouldn't add anything from all the ultimate box like that's what you're saying 
Um, no, no. From I mean, th this deck it's uh, it's like such a well balanced deck. Yeah. I feel yeah. that it's 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 really tough to kind of like take things out. You know, mm -hmm. it, it kind of has an answer for everything. Yeah. Um, it's just you know, in a best of one, just bring in the full power energies just to like have that extra defense. Yeah. But once once you charge that fifth energy, it's it's pretty much a game. Like very very rarely do I charge you know my fifth energy and lose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I totally get that, and it just it yeah. does. There's just so much synergy around the deck, and with Frieza being able to even if you don't draw what you need, like being given the second chance to draw what you need, is mm -hmm. is just really really powerful. So uh, cool. And then your your sideboard you didn't really go into, but you said it wasn't really consequential. For yeah, you. I mean. I, I, I kind of just threw whatever in there because all I really needed were uh, three full power energies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then, like, the rest I just sided against, you know, veggies. Yeah. Um, so, like, Mass Saiyans, Kronoas, and that stuff. Mm -hmm. But the the only things I would side were, like I said, if I was playing against the Herudagarn or any kind of, like, aggro, mm -hmm. I would just take out the three uh, Frieza's, the three fives and three sevens, and I'd put three full power energies and three of the 18s so I could have more green. Yeah, yeah. And that was pretty much it. Just to have more negates, because like I said, once I get to that fifth energy, I'm good. It's just mm -hmm. getting there, you know. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. So, yeah. cool. And then, uh, so you went, you went four, one, and one. Uh, mm -hmm. So, what? Maybe go in. Can you go in a little detail what what you did face? Not apes, thankfully, but. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, game uh, game one, I played against uh, Mono Blue Control. Okay. Um, and that, that one, as usual, I mean, the mono blue control doesn't really have anything to threaten this deck with. Mm -hmm. Um, Bergamo, not really a problem. Nope. Um, that six drop that people run now, I mean, it like by the time it gets to that six energy, they're already dead anyway. Sure, so sure. That, that's never a factor. So it's usually pretty free. Um, I, I just, you know, defend, defend. Mm -hmm. They're not really doing anything because they're also control. Yeah. And then I just beat them down with, uh, my hope of universe seven mm -hmm. yeah Seems yeah very so then uh yeah so then game two i played against the blue green version mm -hmm. um same thing that that deck doesn't really they they bring out analaza but that doesn't really do anything because i'm not really attacking and comboing yeah um they bring out the piccolo but i don't really have anything on the field that doesn't have barrier so he's not doing anything yeah so that is the it's the same thing. I just kind of just do my thing, set up, and then just kill them on five energy. Yep. Um, game three was against Harutagarn, uh Flute Aggro. Okay. I I got great draws, so I was able to just Nimbus pretty much every turn leading up to five, and then just do the whole mirror thing. So just hit them, get them down to one, and then just go for game. Yep. Yep. I I won both games like that. Oh wow! Nice. So, yeah. Yeah, Nimbus is yeah, such so, an uh, important card. Like it's the it's the one thing that I feel like makes yellow yellow viable as a color right now against a lot of. No, it's decks. huge, yeah, especially it's... especially with Roshi. You you pretty much end their turn completely. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You just throw the Nimbus, hit the Roshi on the next one, and then you have another five K combo, and you pretty much just ended their turn. Yeah, exactly. It's pretty pretty strong. Yes. Um. Then the next one was uh, the one that uh, they put on the stream against Rudigarn oh, Veggies. Yes, I remember that one. That was. Yeah, that if one was I, pretty I bad. Say, yeah, it was pretty. <laughs> that was, I felt I felt so bad for your opponent because he just I just I saw I, I couldn't see his face, but I knew he's just looking at you like. Uh, yeah, like, I was, can't do anything. So yeah, yeah. No, and, and, you know, like he, he couldn't really set up because I would like throw a Nimbus mm -hmm. or you know Roshi and yeah. just like everything he was trying to do is it just went bad. Yeah, I think I think um, that was the best game for you to be on on stream for like. Yeah, <laughs> and I I saw the the how long the match was, and it was like twenty minutes. I'm like, oh, this must have just been round, you know, game one of three. And then I'm like, ten minute mark. Oh, he already won. Oh shoot, is this the whole match? <laughs> like, woof. Yeah, was really yeah man, no, my my deck was on point on stream. Thank God, you know, yeah. I hit my objections. Yeah. I had my negates. It was just, you know, I found my victory strike all, both times. He never yeah. had a blocker out. So I'll make just, sure to uh, I'll make sure to find that link and I'll put it in the description. So if you guys want to see this deck in action. Go for it. Cool, cool. Yeah, I have it on my channel, so you can. Oh yes, yeah, that's, that's true too. That, so. yeah, I will make sure yeah. that's linked. Cool, cool. And um, then round five, I went against um, another mono blue control. Mm -hmm. No, actually, no, no. It was it was Harutagarn, and I lost that one. Mm -hmm. um, I you know just Harutagarn. I never got to my fifth energy, uh, yeah. both games, and can't really do much there. Mm -hmm. 
and then I played against another mono blue control, um, and we tied that. Yeah. And that was pretty much it. Um, I, I, I saw the decks. I was expecting to see, you know, when I went in, I was like, if I see all SS3 control, mm-hmm. I'm going to go far, but I thought I'm going to get that lucky. So yeah. I was thinking like, oh, you know, I'll probably get top 16, but that's literally pretty much all I saw, and it was it was perfect. <laughs> yeah, perfect, man. That's That seems really... Yeah. Uh, just a really good meta call really for uh for what's going on so yeah, yeah. man people people are sleeping on this frieza but i mean I, the more <laughs> the more controlled the meta becomes the stronger this deck becomes i feel you know yeah because i feel like this is like the best control like just either being able to it, it your opponent's life total doesn't matter in this deck more or less right mm-hmm. it's just uh you just have to set up and then once you do, your opponent has to pretty much concede. So yeah, it's nothing. Nothing you can do. You're getting swung out with you know six critical attacks with uh-huh. like 55k at least. Yeah, you have the mirror coming out. You know, yeah. it's it's too much. Definitely. Uh, well, that I think is it. Any um, I guess any any thoughts about the current meta before we wrap up, and then we can do some shout outs if you like as well. Yeah. Um, I mean. It's I kind of have like a love hate relationship with it mm-hmm. because I feel like the better SS3 does, the better I'm gonna do. Yes. But at the same time, <laughs> but at the same time, I kind of don't like SS3, you mm-hmm. know. So it's like a kind of love hate thing. Yeah. But SS3 is the only thing keeping all the aggro decks in check. Yeah. And then that in turn makes my Frieza deck really strong because it's like the control deck in my opinion. Mm-hmm. So it's like. I like it. I don't like it. It, it kind of depends on what I'm trying to do. I mostly just play for fun. You know, that's why I went to the States with a yellow deck. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Cause you know, if I, if I win first, it's cool, but you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, I rather try to win first with like a different deck. Yes. Yeah. I am so, um, yeah. So it's, it's, it's love hate. I mean, the only deck right now that I really don't like is the, the new ultimate box Vegeta. Mm. Freaking hate that deck. Yes, that can be that can be very frustrating. Yeah, yeah. I just hate. I, I just don't like when a deck beats you by not letting you play. You know, well, it's like. I mean, unless you're playing that deck, right? Because that's what this kind of you know, that's what yeah. is doing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but it, you know, it's <laughs> it, it, it lets at least the Frieza lets you play. You know, yes, you can do uh-huh. your thing. You know, but yeah, I'm Frieza not, lets like, you die the I'm way you know you, you get to choose when you die. No, and I mean you you can put some barrier blockers and you know uh-huh. I, I lose. It's not like I beat everybody, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um but I, I don't keep you at like two energy and literally don't allow you to play. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah. that's the only deck I kinda don't like, but not really a big deal. Um if I hit my objections I can kinda like push out of that. hmm Yeah. So yeah, so it's it's a it's a love hate thing. Yeah. But I think I think a lot of people are uh kinda on that that spectrum of like uh I, I think, would you agree that this meta is better than, like, the Mecha Frieza? Oh, no, hands down. I, I mean, yeah. this, this is, I mean, yeah, it's the same leader that you mm-hmm. see most of the time as this three, but it's still pretty diverse because yeah, yeah. you got, like, the mono blue control, you got the shoe control, you mm-hmm. have the blue green, yeah. now you got the red blue. Yeah. You've so got... it's, like, four different decks entirely with the same leader. And then you got, you know, Haruta Garn, you got Vegeta, Trunks. Any blue leader you want, it is fine. Just... Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. I, I mean, I'm, I'm even I'm even winning with Majin Buu leader sometimes just oh, yes. because he's, just because he's blue. <laughs> yes, I remember you telling me about that. Yeah. Track. yeah. So so I mean I I like it. I like it more than I don't like it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that that's is... that's pretty much all I can say. Cool. I kind of want us three to get hit, but at the same time I don't. So it's like I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we'll I, see what happens. I don't want it to be like you know SS three hits and then then something uniformly becomes the best right after it, and it's it's even worse. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's a slippery slope because then all you're gonna have is like Trunk Storm and mm-hmm. Vegeta Storm and just mm-hmm. everything Storm and yeah, it's it's just weird because it's so good aggressively and defensively too, right? Because like the best countered SS3 is another SS3, so. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's 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 just tough when they drop those, uh, especially like the red uh, the red blue one now. Mm-hmm. They you know they drop like a Zeno or something. They reset your hand next turn. They drop like a hit. Mm-hmm. And it's just like every every turn they're doing big plays, but then untapping and defending yeah. easily. So yes. yeah, and it, they're able to do the big plays because they're not afraid of their defending turn. So exactly, exactly. So but cool. yeah, cool. I'm cool. Any any, uh, any other closing thoughts or shoutouts or what have you? Um, no, no, that's that's pretty much it. Um, 
shout out, shout out to you and everyone else at Stage Zero, Android, all you guys. Yep. Oh, yeah. Um, We're, it's, it's technically Androids, but I think we've all taken control of it. I'll put a link to the Discord. If you guys want to join discussions with us, uh, we're all more than happy to talk with you guys and have any deck help. If you want to be on my Deck Doctor series, I also have my email address. Just email me there, and um, you can see some of, my, some of my past episodes of that, too. But, uh, yeah, we're all just guys trying yeah, to play this game. <laughs> Yeah, the place is awesome. Um, it's, it helped me a lot, you know, leading up to that event, being mm -hmm. able to, like, brainstorm with all of you guys. Yeah. Um, shout out to Zalk and Nanobot. Those guys were literally on every day when i was on yeah and we were just playing non-stop non-stop you know zalk mm -hmm. I'll, I'll tell him hey man make this deck or you know like put these cards in your deck and play me so i can like get those looks and he would immediately do it so that guy that guy helped me perfect you know my decks and stuff so big shout out to them too and um and yeah man that's, yeah that's i forgot to tell we are, we are an untapped moderator here also joel he he played yeah. us so many times that they're like Here's a badge just because you're here, <laughs> just in case yeah, anything like, happens when no one else is around. This guy plays so much. Let's you know give him some some sort of reward. Yeah, exactly. So, so yeah. he will ban you to Octagon though if you do not behave. So just yeah, be careful you don't you don't you don't want that. So be careful what you say. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for uh, being on this show discussion, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I hope you get another top eight placing or. Uh, so we can do this again. This has always been a lot of fun. So yeah, man. And then right before uh, right before we go, shout out to my Uchiha squad back at home. Oh yes. Uh, Nestor Massini, Stephen Mason, Renee Aza. That's my squad right there. So nice. Yep. Squad up. So all right. Thank you guys so much, and we will catch you guys on the next one. Later.